You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. What I'm going to review today is the game box. Don't mind the packaging because the Chinese sent me this Pandora Saga game box. Totally confusing and had nothing to do with Pandora Saga. So, what are we going to get? Let's open it up and let's see. So they are moving away from the two player and single player big arcade machines. They are giving us more like these arcade retro game emulation system nowadays. So let's talk about the packaging because they picked up very nice. The manual is the manual is pretty pointless. The toilet paper manual just basic explanation. And only you're going to get these with your main board. So we have no use for this. Here we have the two controllers. We're having the HMI cable. 12 volt power supply. The game box itself. And keep in mind, when you're ordering, you can use the wireless or the wired edition. It's more or less what you want to order. The wireless version works with one dongle on two controllers. We're having the on and off switch over here. They are working on two AAA batteries. They are not to be confused with the original PlayStation 2 controllers, but I must say they feel cheap. But they are not the most horrible controllers I ever felt. But we're going to play with it. And we're going to play some fighting games, check out if the D-pad is working like it should be. So let's take a close look at the game box. There's going to be a rip and tear because I have no idea how to get this thing out. Alright, so this version comes with the Pandora Saga 9D. So the Pandora Saga 9D, for the people who are totally new to the Pandora jungle, it's very simple. The Pandora Box 5 is the first or one of the first released Pandora boxes. And basically the Pandora Saga 9D is a clone of it. Because fun fact that it has exactly the same menu. The only thing they did swap out is the logo at the right top over there. All right, we're pressing up and down. You can see we can go to the next game, pressing left and right. We can go to the list. But this is a fun thing to show you. When you're going to list number one or page number one and page number two, you can see it has exactly the same games. It says AES and I'm guessing what they just basically did is this is the MVS ROM and this is the AES ROM. The same game, only from a different system. So if you take a close look at the end of the list and this is what is really interesting about the Pandora Saga 90 that it comes with some 3D games and as you can see there are quite some different versions on them. So far I know there is no way of changing it. So what you see is what you're going to get. So they even marked some games like 4 player and 3 player. Maybe in the future we can do a video about it, how to connect more controllers to the game box. But for now let's focus on the game box itself of the Pandora Saga 90. The collection itself it's more like the same. It's basically is main Neo Geo and a little bit of PlayStation 1. There will, sometimes there will be a lost Sega or Super NES game that you will find between all the other games. But there is something special with the Pandora Saga 9D. So if you look at the full line, Pandora Box 9 is basically an upgraded 5. But it did some little changes. For example, when you're pressing the 3 button on your controller, you can see we're having a search option now. So finally, they listened to the community and added a search function. It's more like a hidden search function. And okay, let's go back. And if you're pressing the number 2 button on your controller, you even have a recent playlist. So I'm happy they did add it to the Pandora Box Saga or Pandora Saga 9D. Yeah, all the names are so freaking confusing. All right, so let's take a close look at the setting menu. You can reach this when you're pressing the little button on the main board. So as you can see, we're having EO testing. This is for testing the controller if you're having any problem. You can reconfigure the button configuration. But the, the, the downside to this is it is not only for one game. It's just basically where you change it. You change it for every single program, game or whatsoever that's on the device. System configuration. I'm going to show you because this is quite interesting. Here you can see we're having some things you can change out. For example, the auto exit. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. And of course, the quality optimization. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to have the, let's say, the polished edition. There's something else, as you can see, we're having the four player, con the four player option. And you're having the little joysticks over here. Normally what you're normally going to do is using this main board in a dual player Pandora box and then you're going to add the extra controllers. So I'm guessing you can't use, let's say, four controllers. If I find that out, I will make a separate review. Scorpion. Round. 
round one. Fight. So if it comes to the game collection, it's a mixed bag. There are a lot of good games, but there's not a big improvement if you look at the Pandora box I did a review, let's say a couple of years ago. But what is really disappointing that the Tekken 3 has a shitload of lag and Mortal Kombat is basically unplayable. The games that were running fine on Pandora box 5 and 6. So the Pandora Saga 90, if it comes to the game collection, no, there's not a big improvement over here. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the game box. I must say, I am a big fan of the casing itself. I think this is going to be something very cool beneath my monitor itself. So if you want to upgrade it with something else, yeah, it sadly has a Pandora 90. It's a shitty board to be honest. I don't like the board itself, but I can always upgrade it with something else. And that is something that is very cool. So the controller itself, if you look at the controller, it plays... Yeah, it plays not bad at all. It doesn't play bad at all. So. Form Chinese knockoff controller, nope. So with this kit, this is what you're going to get. And it's all up to you if you think that it's worth your money. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family and don't miss out. Any new videos of Pandora boxes? And let's enter the Pandora jungle together.